back to my channel. This is the best place for entrepreneurs, content creators, and those who want to convert their knowledge into profitable business on the internet. I am Ija Gang, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can create beautiful logo for yourself, for your business, or even you can go into graphic design. Oh yes, this is my birthday month and I promise that I'm going to be teaching you graphic design. I've taught you introduction to graphic design. I also taught you how you can create beautiful ebook cover for yourself and even convert it to 3d so if you are watching this video you did not have access to that video you can ask in the comment section of this video here on youtube so that i can link you to that particular video so let's go to the practical aspects of this video all right here we are on the practical aspect so we are still using Canva, just as I've taught you earlier. If you have watched my video, I just taught you how to create book cover like this one and convert it to 3D like this. So now we are going to learn how to create logo for your business. It's very important. Here on Canva, you can either use the Canva app or you can always go online. You can use any of your browser and then search for canva.com. You can search for canva.com so if you are signing in for the first time you need to sign up with your email address and your and uh, and your password so here it is so we are here the next thing i'm going to do is on this search here i'm going to tap logo by the time i tap logo you will see different logo designs that will come up you can pick any of them and convert it to yours all you need to do is to add one or two things to eat or remove one or two things to eat just as i've told you about design importance of design the elements of design so here we are so let's say i want to go for for this one this one i love the font of this one this particular one here so let me just tap on it all you need to do is to just change one or two things and your logo is done because as i've said earlier there's nothing like bad logo or good logo my one of my mentor will always say that uh, like gt bank is just a box inside another box so that is how it is so here we are all i need to do is to tap when you double tap it it will be highlighted so let's say i don't want this i want to just put a ijapari jam let me say ijapari or even ijapari is okay for me ijapari so here and then this other one i would double tap it and maybe i should put more p but that's more on point more more on point internet business academy that's the meaning of mopiba in case you have been wondering what this is all about so that is it so the next thing i need to do i need to if i want i can change this particular color so here is where i will change the color by the time i tap this i can pick here to see whatsoever i want to whatever color i want to change it to but i'm fine with this one but let me just say something like this so i'm done then what well, what if you i want to add a particular maybe i want to add a particular element on it all i need to do as i've said earlier if you want to add anything on canva all you need to do is to on your mobile phone is this plus sign so by the time i click on this plus sign if it is element or i want to input a, a, a upload a picture from my mobile phone to add to my logo i'll click on upload but if i just want to look for any random element to add to it i'll click on element so by the time i click on elements it will bring out different elements all i need to do i can search a particular one let's say my if if my logo is all about my company is all about food or about dogs or animals let's say i want i'm looking for food if i just tap food and search it will bring different elements of food so i can pick any of this as you can see this one is free some of them anyone you see pro like this that means it's a paid one so you can choose any one you want i can maybe choose this pizza or spoon or this particular one anything you want you can just click on it it's free and it will and you see this is how it is so now i've created my logo 
let's say maybe this small beeper or well, this particular one i don't want the font so all i need to do is i'll come here and click on these are the fonts here if i click on font i can decide to change it to another different font so let me click here as you can see it has changed so let's say again maybe i i want to increase the size all i need to do is tap this particular one here as i tap here i can change the size by dragging this as you can see i reduce it so that is it and then what else do i need to show you you can underline you can group you can position it's very important this position in like let me say maybe i want this particular this particular black lines to come up or let me use this for as an example let me say i want to drag this one as it is here now and i want the name to come up so what do i do i will come up here and click on this position by the time i click on position i want it to be the, i want this picture to go backward so i'll click on backward as you can see it has gone behind it so that is the the use of position there are actually a lot of things you can do you can even add a link to your pdf or anything you are doing with canva so i'm going to teach more on that in the next video i'm going to be creating and show you how to create beautiful flyer like this one for your event or any other thing so if you're finding this video helpful come go ahead and comment and tell me how you feel about this values that i've been giving you for free because it's my birthday month until i come your way again in my next video do have a wonderful day bye